you that don't know who I am, my name is Joel Broughton. I've got a lot of stuff to go over with you guys today, and I've got some ideas, I guess, that I want to share with you and a few different things. So today I want to talk about how to move your business forward. You know, when we first started, we used to go on, you know, kind of some numbers of, and I used to talk to a lot of the leaders. Of course, I don't get an opportunity to talk to as many of them anymore because, you know, obviously there's so many of them. But I do stay in contact with a lot of them and, and, you know, have regular discussions with them. And one of the questions that I like to ask a lot of members, and maybe you can ask yourself this, is can you calculate out the average uh, dollar per member that you're earning, which basically how you do that is you take all of the income from all the affiliate programs, okay, so obviously anybody that you've put into those programs, you take all that income and you divide it by the number of, the total number of members that you have. And I know that, you know, most members are normally having a, uh, a profit per member rate of somewhere between probably about two to six dollars, okay? Which doesn't sound like a lot, okay, to a lot of you guys, but that's two to six dollars a month. Okay, now think about that. And that's just from the affiliate programs. That's not even from the primary businesses. The majority of the members take out the primary business just because uh, the numbers get a little crazy if you start adding in that main business. But normally this is just from the affiliate programs. Two to five, two to six dollars uh, per member is pretty average. I know some members, when you start adding that uh, the, the uh, primary business in, some of them are earning $10 a member. Some of them are earning 20 or $30 a member. You know, and as a minimum from the affiliate programs only, you know, you're probably earning between two to five thousand dollars a month. Okay, now I want you to think about that. Two to five thousand dollars a month not only pays your bills, but more importantly, that's going to fund your advertising for your business. Okay, that's going to continually fund your advertising for your business forever. Okay, and I know a lot of you guys are thinking, well, geez, if I was only making two to five thousand dollars a month, you know, I I wouldn't have to build a network marketing business. I wouldn't have to because, you know, I'd already have the income I want. See, but that's the wrong thinking because, you know, if you don't constantly advertise your business and grow your business, eventually there's a chance that it can fall apart, right? If you're not moving forward, chances are, you know, you could be standing still, but most likely you're moving backwards. And most businesses are that way. It's the same in network marketing. It's the same in any traditional business out there. There's no difference, all right, that if a business isn't moving forward, if they're not advertising and generating new customers and new business, chances are they're regressing and they're losing business and eventually they're going to be out of business, all right? So in network marketing, we want to build the same and obviously we want to build leaders that want to move their businesses forward and and continue on with the leadership role, all right? And once you have that, then you have a more stable business and then that's where you take the vacations and, you know, you go with move to Singapore for two years or you go live in uh, you know Europe for a year or something like that and you kind of travel around the world or, or whatever it is that your dreams are pay off your bills and buy a new car or buy a new house or you know have a swimming pool in your house or in your backyard or whatever it is that you know you want but initially you know two to five thousand dollars a month if you're generating that from the affiliate programs even if you're generating a thousand or five hundred dollars right as a senior executive or as an executive or even as a senior manager if you're making five hundred a thousand dollars a month from the affiliate programs this is the mistake most people make and I want to just make sure that you guys avoid making this mistake they take the five hundred dollars a month and they say well you know that's ah, good five hundred bucks a month I'm gonna go spend this now I'm gonna go put this into my pocket I'm gonna spend it on um, you know paying down my bills I can't believe yeah this is doing awesome five hundred bucks a month I'm gonna go spend this and then they slow down their advertising okay and what happens is their business will start crumbling from the inside out. As soon as you slow down your advertising with a system or in-network marketing or in any traditional business, you slow down your advertising and you start taking your advertising dollars and you start spending it, what's going to happen very quickly is you're not going to generate any new dollars coming into your business. You're not going to generate any new customers and you're not going to generate any new new uh, new business coming in all right so you you have no new money coming in and eventually I mean if you think about this and let's be realistic here 
all of the customers, 100% of the customers, will not stay forever. You'll always have some type of attrition happening in your business, whether you run a, a video store, whether you run a, uh, a local convenience store or a clothing shop. You're not going to have those customers coming back all the time. Even in network marketing, some of the customers will stop buying the product. Okay, what a, what a crazy concept that is. Some of them will stop buying the product. So you need to constantly be putting in new customers and new purchases into your business. Now, do you need to personally do that? Not necessarily. You don't necessarily always need to personally do that, but when you're first getting started in the first year or two, yeah, you do. Okay, You need to constantly be enrolling new customers, new business partners in your first couple of years of your business. As your business grows and expands and as you teach those people to do the same, eventually they'll be putting those new customers into your business and you won't have to worry about it so much anymore. And not to say that you shouldn't, okay? because obviously your business will grow and your income will always grow as you put more people in your business. But just to say that that's, that's eventually going to happen, it'll come to a point where your business will grow with or without you enrolling. Okay. So again, the, the mistake a lot of people make is they take that money from those affiliate programs or that income generated from the funded proposal or the funded sponsoring that we're doing, and they go and spend it on their bills, and they go and uh, buy a new car, or they go on a vacation, or they save it up and they stick it in the piggy bank for a rainy day. My problem with that is that they stunt their growth hugely in their business. Okay, And that's, you can see that happening to people that maybe go and, and they, they go like fire. They start making a little bit of money, and boom, they stop advertising. <laughs> okay, they just decide, you know what? Yeah, this is going great. I got 150 members now, and and things are going wonderful, and I'm making some money. You know, I'm pulling in an extra four or five hundred bucks a month from this. I'm gonna go just back to back to the way I was doing it before. All right, I'm gonna talk to these 150 members and try and get them all to join my business, and and I'm gonna take that 150, you know, that three, four hundred, five hundred dollars that I'm earning from affiliate programs. And I'm going to start paying down some of my credit cards because, you know, I racked up a lot of consumer debt and I bought a lot of stuff and Christmas just happened and, geez, I want to get rid of those bills. So they start paying off that. And then what happens, though, is that they don't see what's going to happen to their business until about three months down the road. Because I'm going to tell you right now, the advertising you're doing today, you're probably not going to see any massive results or massive effects on your business for two to three months. Okay. Because the leads you put in the system today aren't necessarily going to pay off immediately. Some of them will. Okay, Some of them will uh, come into your primary business right away. Some of them will join all the affiliate programs right away. But some of them actually it'll take some time to kind of percolate. Okay, kind of, you know, they'll kind of sit there and stew a little bit and, and they'll think about it and they'll be getting the emails through the autoresponders. And, you know, it may take them a little bit longer to join your main business, your primary business. Some of them it'll take a while to actually get going and learn how to do internet marketing because maybe they're brand new. Right? Maybe it'll take two, three months before they actually see anything. All right? So if you're stopping and you're kind of spending your money I and mean, you got 400 members, three, 400 members, and 400 members, maybe you're making $400 uh, you know, times 400 members, 1600 bucks a month in income. And you're saying, this 1600 bucks a month is great. It's even more than I'm making in my primary business, maybe. And, uh, you know, and, and I'm growing my primary business. It's great. I'm making 1000 from my main business. I'm making, you know, 1600 from this. I can quit my job, and I can just do this full time. And then you quit your job, and then you've got $2,600 to pay your bills, and then you've got nothing left over to build your business with. And then you kind of get stuck in the, in the, you know, just trying to save people, just trying to help people stay in and, and chasing people. And, and you kind of get stuck in the wrong place, right? You're trying to just maintain your business instead of grow your business. See, if you want to achieve some of the top levels, you need to be focused consistently on growing your business all the time. You need to be focused on new business, not on old business, all right? The old business, they'll come around. All right, those people in your business will come around eventually, and some of them will never come around. And we don't we don't want to worry about whether or not you know somebody who joined six months ago is ever going to get in the business. We want to worry about who's joining tomorrow. Okay, that's always in network marketing, in my experience, and we've had a lot of experience building organizations and building systems and teaching marketing. And I've had the the wonderful opportunity to talk to a lot of members that are both in my primary business and not in my primary business. And it's the same story over and over again, is those people that create new business consistently have a growing, thriving, massive business. Okay? And they're teaching leadership and they're teaching you know, people how to market and how to 
you know, how to build their businesses. And those people that are kind of sitting there, you know, not spending money on advertising anymore, they slow it down, uh, they just want to try and maintain and, and they're happy with their thousand or two thousand dollars a month or four or five thousand dollars a month even, you get to that level where, you know, you're earning enough income to pay all the bills and you quit your job and then you have no money left to advertise. And that's a huge mistake that a lot of people make. We want to focus on new growth all the time. Okay, until you're at a point where you're making ten or twenty or thirty thousand dollars a month. Once you're making that, then you know you don't necessarily have to focus on new growth as much anymore. But you don't have to focus on it as much anymore because you've got income that you can spend, disposable income that you can spend on advertising. Plus, you can live a half decent lifestyle, right? With twenty or twenty-five thousand dollars a month coming in, you know you can spend a good five or ten thousand dollars a month on advertising, on growing your business. And you've still got ten or twenty or thirty thousand dollars a month to live off of, okay? Which is great, all right. And if if you don't have currently ten thousand or twenty thousand dollars a month to live off of, which is a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars a year in income, you're probably living paycheck to paycheck. Okay? You're you're not you know you're living beyond your means. Most people are living way beyond their means if they're only making four or five thousand dollars a month. All right, which is a fifty or sixty thousand dollars a year annual income, especially if you're an employee, because then the government's going to take a ton of tax off of that too, right? So you're only actually living on maybe thirty thousand dollars a year, forty thousand dollars a year in actual money that you can spend. So what we need to do is we need to focus at when we hit that level. That's actually when we need to increase our advertising and increase the speed at which we're going. Okay. And again, some of you guys are brand new. Okay, I'll help you guys out. It'll, it'll be really, really simple to be able to achieve those levels. But I just want to make sure that those of you that are already going and some of you that have recently advanced to some of these levels and some of you that maybe are stuck at some of these levels can continue going. You've got you know, 50, 100 members. You actually need to increase your advertising more than what you're doing. You need to take every single dime you make from all the affiliate programs and your primary business and you need to stick it back into your business. Okay. When you first start out, most people aren't making any money. Okay, and that may be you. You may be sitting there saying, "Well, I'm not making any money from anything, but I really want to." Okay, and 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 this is to help out the brand new people, especially. You need to have an ad budget. You need to have a budget. Okay, a business budget, and you need to have a personal budget in your life. Okay, now the business budget. What that's going to do is that's going to grow your business. Your personal budget is going to pay all your your regular bills to live. Okay. Now, if you don't have one or the other, what's going to happen is you're going to go in a lot of debt. And then it's going to become more difficult to live a better lifestyle because the more debt you go in, the more expenses you're creating for yourself. Interest expenses, right? You're starting to pay more on those credit cards. You're starting to pay more on those loans. And then you have to go make more money to pay that debt instead of to live a better lifestyle. See, what we want to do is we want to make more money so that we can live a better lifestyle and, and have more and do more and have more opportunity for us and our families rather than make more money just so we can service our debt. Who wants to make more money so they can pay it to somebody else? Hey, not me. All right, especially if you're not getting anything in return other than just borrowing their money. Yeah, that doesn't sound very exciting. All right, so when you first start out, you need to have a business budget and you need to have a personal budget. Now, the personal budget really is what's going to happen when you start a new business needs to be cut back to cut back significantly. Okay? You need to make some sacrifices in your life. All right? If you if you eat out a lot, maybe you got to start buying more groceries and cooking at home. Okay? If you go to a lot of movies or if you go to a lot of clubs or if you're constantly drinking or playing sports and stuff like that, maybe you got to cut some of those back. Um, not forever. But just cut some of those back right now. Cut some of those expenses back right now and don't spend all that money. I know that every single person on this call today can come up with an extra 100 or $200 a month um, out of their personal budget that they're basically just wasting on stuff. Okay, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that money you spend on stuff, right? That third pair of shoes, that new jacket, Right, eating out every week, twice a week, three times a week, eating the fast food, right? Doing all these activities maybe that you don't need to be doing in your life right now. Now I know it's quality of life and you're gonna do that argument, but I'll tell you what, would you rather have quality of life today and maintain that for the next 30 years or would you rather sacrifice a little bit today so that in two to five years from today you have increased uh, significantly your quality of life? 
right? So that you can trade a little bit of quality of life today for future, for future increases, for future major increases, right? For future major income, right? So if you think about that, I mean, I think it's worth it. And when you're first starting out, you need to come up with a budget of a hundred, two hundred, maybe five hundred dollars a month, okay, to build your business. Now, I'm not saying you can't do it on less. You can do it on less, all right? It'll just grow slower. It'll just grow a lot slower than the more you have that you put in your budget. If you can afford to put $1,000 into your business budget a month, do it. If you can afford to put $2,000 a month into your budget, your business budget a month, do it, all right? Because what's going to happen is you're going to start growing your business, and you're going to start growing your business income, all right? Now, if you can't afford it, if you're just going in debt, more and more by increasing your business budget, then don't do that. That doesn't make any sense. We want to increase your income, not increase your debt. Okay, so set aside a few hundred dollars a month, four or five hundred maybe, uh, a couple hundred maybe, right, to build your business as your business budget. And never take away from your business budget. Never take away from that $200 or that $300 or that $1,000 a month or whatever it is that you've set that you're putting into your business every month. Never take away from that. As soon as you take away from that, you just kill your business. All right? As soon as you take away from that business budget, you're killing your business. You're killing your hopes and dreams for the future success and the future millions that you can earn in this industry. All right? Think about that. Okay? The future millions that you can earn in this industry. So as we grow our business, here's what we need to do. We need to continually still put that money into our business budget. And let's say we set that at $500 when we first started. $500 a month that we're taking from our job income or we're taking from our regular paycheck that we're putting into our business. As our business grows, we're still putting in that $500 a month, every month, into advertising, into buying products, whatever it is that you need to do to spend on your business. Right, to qualify for your bonuses, for the membership fees. Let's say you're putting in $500 a month. $500, $500, $500 every single month. Okay. Now, as we start earning income from the affiliate program that we have, you need to take that money and you need to increase your ad budget. You need to increase your business budget. You don't take that money and stick it in your bank account. You take that money and you stick it into your budget. All right, and to your business account. If you have a separate business account, it's perfect. You just cash it in there, and now you've got extra money. So let's say as you grow your business, you know you're spending your 500 bucks a month on advertising and on the affiliate programs and everything. Maybe you're making another 300 dollars a month from the affiliate programs in profit. Okay, 300 dollars a month coming in. So now you get 800 dollars a month. All right, now you get 800 dollars a month. So you're increasing your advertising now because your affiliate programs aren't going to cost more. Right? The, the actual memberships and the product purchases from your primary business, maybe, they're not going to increase. They really shouldn't be increasing as your business grows. Those are all fixed expenses. The only major expenses that need to increase that are variable, that are going to increase your business and grow your business faster, is your advertising expenses, how you're actually getting new members. All right? That's, that can increase. So take that $300 and throw it completely into advertising. Now you've got $800 a month building your business, you've got extra money for advertising, what's going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Well, your business will grow faster, right? You'll put in more members faster with an extra $300, right? Think about that. If you're currently spending $200 a month on advertising and you're generating members and you're generating dollars back, right, through the affiliate programs, if you put an extra $300 in, what's the obvious thing that's going to happen? Well, your business is going to grow even faster. You're going to put more members in. You're going to actually double. You should double the growth with an extra $300 at least, right? You should double the growth of the members so your income actually over the next few months should double too. So your income, you know, as you put in more members, you're going to get up to 250 members. You're going to get up to 500 members. At 500 members, maybe you're making $1,000 a month. Maybe you're making $1,500 a month. I don't know what it is. It's different for everybody, depending on how they do their advertising, where they find their members, et cetera, et cetera. But let's say you're making $1,000 a month from the affiliate programs. You've still got your business budget that we said initially coming from your job of $500. Don't take that away. I know it's tempting to take that away and go stick it somewhere else. But for you to truly make it in this industry, you need to keep spending that money from your job, the $500 you initially told yourself you were going to spend, and you need to spend the full $1,000 a month on advertising. And I know that some people are starting to get nervous and thinking, well, no, I want to spend that $1,000 a month that I'm generating. I want to save that so I can go to Florida with the kids. 
or I want to save that so I can go to go to a cruise for a, a Hawaiian cruise. The Hawaiian cruise only costs two grand, and I want to t- two months. I can save that up. But what's going to happen is you're going to kill your business if you do that. You're going to actually forego future cruises to spend the money today. All right? Think about that. You're going to forego maybe a cruise a month in the future, maybe a cruise a year in the future, maybe a vacation for the kids every single, you know, twice a year. You're going to forego by just simply spending that money today on something you're not supposed to be spending it on. Okay? You're supposed to be spending that money because it's a funded sponsoring model. It's a funded sponsoring system. You're supposed to be spending that money on advertising. Right? As soon as you stop spending that money on advertising, you stop growing your business. So take that thousand dollars a month, right? And before, remember, we were spending uh, we were spending three hundred dollars a month on advertising, and now we got another thousand dollars. Now we got thirteen hundred dollars a month on advertising your business. How fast is your business going to grow now? Well, it's going to grow even faster. You know, if we go from eight hundred dollars a month to thirteen hundred dollars a month. In advertising, that's an extra 500 bucks a month we're spending on advertising to grow our business to go find new members. Think about that. All right, let that sink in a little bit for you. All right. Now, I know today, realistically, a lot of you guys can't spend $1,300 purely on advertising your business. Some of you can, most of you can't. All right. But that's how you build it up. You start small and you keep adding on every single dollar that comes into your business into the budget. Right? You don't just stick it in your bank account and then keep spending the $200 a month or the $300 a month. Uh, you don't just stick the, you know, if you get a check for 400 bucks, you don't stick it in your bank account and still spend the same $300 a month on advertising. It doesn't make any sense, right? You need to actually grow at an increasing rate so you can get there faster. That's how people get to big incomes in, in network marketing in six months, in three months in 12 months or two years. That's how they get to the big incomes. That's how you get to $100,000 a year. right? That's how you get to $200,000 a year. That's how you get to thirty dollars or $40,000 a month, $50,000 a month, because you grow at an increasing rate. You spend more money on advertising every single month. Okay, As your business comes in, you spend more money on advertising, which creates more business, which creates higher numbers, which creates more money, right? bigger profits. Right? Very, very simple concept, folks. Because you've spent the incoming dollars, plus you have your regular business budget, and you, you, you know, you've got a thousand plus members. And what do you do at that point? Well, you got to continue spending that new money on advertising. You got to continue to roll over that money. I want you guys to think about this, and, and this is something that you know you may have learned <laughs> some different concepts. It's the exact same as anything else in life. If you're a gambler, right, you try and gamble with the house's money. Right? Any money you earn, that's the money you try to gamble with. Right? Any money that maybe you're ahead, that's the money you gamble with. You don't always want to gamble with your own money. You want to gamble with the new money coming in, which creates more money. Right? And then you gamble with that new money, and then it increases. Right? And you keep going up. That's how gamblers do it. Right? Think about this. That's what you do in the stock market too. Right? You try and invest in stocks, and then when you make money, you go reinvest that in another stock. Right? And then you make some money with that, and then you go reinvest that in another stock. And you keep all that money in the stock market so that you're growing your portfolio, so that you're growing the number of stocks and the amount of money you have in the stock market. Right? Everybody is doing this, folks. Maybe you're not, but then you're missing the boat. I'm just using the same concepts that every single person does in the world to grow a multi-million dollar business or to grow a, you know, multi, you know, millions of dollars in stocks or, or you know, money and gambling or whatever it is whatever you know whatever you want to spend it in right that's the same thing that you know same thing I do when I play Monopoly <laughs> alright for those of you guys that are familiar with the game Parker Brothers Monopoly grab a grab a Monopoly game and see if that same concept that I just taught you guys works if you take all the new money coming in and you buy more property and you put up houses and you you put up hotels and your Monopoly board think about that you're investing in the future money that you're going to earn, right? And you guys know, I mean, for those of you guys that have ever played Monopoly, and this is, I think, a good example to use because it's very familiar to a lot of people, you know that the person with the most property is going to win, right? And you got to think about your properties almost as your advertising, okay? Because whenever somebody lands on your property, they get to pay you money, right? When they land on, on Baltic Avenue or they land on Park Place or whatever, whatever place they land on, Indiana Avenue, 
they've got to pay you money. Yeah, they've got to pay you a fee. All right? Same thing out here. So that, think about that as your advertising. So what do you want to do in Monopoly? Well, I mean, the best strategy that I've ever had has always been to collect as much property as possible so I can get paid the most when people land on my property. And I mean, you know, that's been a pretty successful, you know, a pretty successful strategy. I don't know, maybe you get, there's some Monopoly buff on the call tonight, today, that, uh, you know, is listening that's saying, no, no, that's not the best strategy, I got the best one. Well, maybe you do. Okay, but I've always found that whenever I play Monopoly, you know, collecting the most property, even if I have to almost go into debt, even if I have to spend all my money, collecting that property actually always pays off in the end. Because people start landing on there and they give me 10 bucks here, they give me 20 bucks there, and then I start spending that 10 and 20 dollars on houses. So that the next time they land on my property, they gotta pay me more. Okay? And you gotta relate that back to your network marketing business. Okay? The Monopoly game, all right? If you go out there and you put lots of advertising out there, when people hit on your ads, they come into your store, right? They come in as a member, they start buying the product, they start spending money, you start earning profits. No difference than playing Monopoly, all right? The more property you have in Monopoly, the more potential chances people are going to hit on your properties and going to pay you money. The more advertising you have out there for your network marketing business, the better chance people are going to click on your ads Come into your store and buy something. Okay, join your network marketing business, join one of the affiliate programs, pay you some money, right? There's a better chance. And then what do we do in Monopoly? You know, we start to uh, you know, we start to buy more property, right? We start to put more houses and hotels. I always invest all my money in future profits when I play Monopoly. I, I, I don't just try and you know, and, and some people they like to just you know, I, I know I've played with uh, you know some of my brothers and stuff and, and one of them in particular always like to amass lots of money, lots of cash. He'd always buy a couple properties and then he'd have tons of cash. What would happen in the long term of doing that is that because he didn't invest his cash in anything that generates more income, is that eventually he would start landing on all my properties and paying me his cash. Because the cash in Monopoly, you know, you can't invest it in, in uh, you know, you can't make a percentage back for, uh, for earning uh, interest or anything like that. So your cash is just sitting there. You may as well stick it under your mattress, right? So he's got his two or three properties and he's got his hotels on them. And then I got the other 17 or 20 properties or whatever's on a Monopoly board. And he keeps landing on mine and he keeps paying me 20 bucks, 50 bucks, $35, right? He keeps paying me all the fees. Almost every single time he rolls, he's paying me something. And then what happens? Oh, I just roll by his, oops. Missed his again. Oops, missed his again because he doesn't have a lot. The chances of me hitting his property because he's only got one or two is very slim. It's the same thing as if you've only got one or two ads going. Right? It's the same thing as if you only got a few keywords going in your pay-per-click advertising. If you only have your link out there a little bit. If you're not paying for your link to be seen anywhere, all right, what's going to happen? Oh, people are going to miss your ad. They're going to miss it. They're not going to come to your business. They're not going to come to your website. They're not going to buy anything. And you're going to not make any money. Okay, so I want you to kind of use that monopoly strategy in your advertising. Buy up as much property as possible on the internet in terms of ads. Okay, you want to buy up as many ads as you possibly can and you can afford until you have zero dollars left in your business budget, not in your total budget. Okay, don't go broke trying to do this business, folks. I know a lot of people that take all their money in the whole world and they invest it and they, ah, Joel, I took my last hundred dollars and I put it in ads. Hopefully this thing works. Don't do that doesn't even make any sense. Why would you spend all, all your money and then you don't have money for food? Or you don't have money for your kids' clothing or whatever? Don't, don't be silly like that. Right? But have your business budget separate. And spend every last dollar in your business budget every single month. And then replenish your business budget every month with money out of your job income. Money from your personal income right? that you're earning. All right? And then obviously reinvest your profits reinvest your profit. How many times have you heard that in the world? To reinvest your profits, right? Like I said, stock market, gambling, mutual funds, savings, whatever it is, monopoly, okay? Reinvest your profits into income generating things, which in our industry is more advertising to get more members to generate you more income, to get more distributors, right? To generate you more income, right? You want to generate more residual income. You want to generate more passive income. How do you generate passive income? You get lots of members advertising your business, advertising your products or services. That's how you generate the passive income in network marketing.
Okay? And I've generated thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars from me not doing it, but from other people doing it. But how did, how did I get paid from them? Well, I found them in the first place. I advertised and I grew my ad budget so that I could find more and more people faster and faster. Okay? So make sure that you continue building your business hard. Make sure that you, you know, strive, right? Go after it, all right? And, and remember, and, and I'm gonna leave you guys with this thought today, I'm gonna cut it a little short today, but remember this. Remember the Monopoly game? Get as much property as possible, as fast as possible, so you can generate income every time someone lands on it? Same thing, right? Get as much advertising out there as possible, so every time someone clicks on your advertising, you can make money. You can make money. You can make money, you can make money, you can make money, you can make money. And then reinvest those profits. Don't ever forget to reinvest your profits and continually pay into that ad budget. Continually pay into that business budget so that your business will always, always, always grow. Okay? Have a great uh, weekend, everyone. Again, this is Joel. Uh, have a great one. We'll talk to you guys all very soon. Bye for now, everyone.